Hey everybody, John Peterson here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about visual noise. And this is not the noise that we see in our sensors when we use high ISOs. This is visual noise in your composition. This is a topic that I teach a lot, and it's something that I continually remind people about because I think it's extremely critical for us as we present our photographs, our works of art, and try to touch and connect with the people that view our images. And, you know, to me, visual noise, uh, if I was to make the analogy of, of a writer writing a book, visual noise is a lot like using too many words to get the point across. Visual noise is too many elements in your composition. Or, and this is the point of the video today, visual noise is distracting elements or points in your photograph that could be taken away from the visual impact of your subject or your story that you're trying to do. Now, a lot of visual noise is not extremely obvious. A lot of it's very subtle. And it takes time to train your vision to see these things and then eliminate them in Lightroom or Photoshop. And today I'm gonna really, really recommend that you go into Photoshop to make these types of edits. Lightroom's come a long way, but their, but their cleanup tool is just not on par with the tools that we have in Photoshop. So for those of you that are Lightroom only users and are afraid, afraid to go into Photoshop, I guarantee you that this is super easy to do and you will notice a vast difference in your ability to clean up things in your images. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, here we are in Adobe Photoshop and don't be overwhelmed by all the buttons and everything else you see. This is just sort of my workspace right now. And But the thing that I really want you all to focus on is this tool over here. And this is called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And it's Command-J or J on your keyboard. Um, and it's a real easy way to clean up spots, clean up visual anomalies, clean up that visual noise. Adobe just released a new update for Photoshop in the last couple of months, and they have a new tool called the Remove Tool. And so both of these tools do a fantastic job of getting rid of things in your photograph. And there's a different use for each of these tools. There's also the clone stamp tool, which I won't get into today, but I want to I want to talk to you about the spot healing brush and the remove tool. And when I say visual noise, if you look at this image in front of you, what sort of visual anomalies do you see? Like number one, I see this road that's coming through here. You know, this road that's running right along here and here, and it catches my eye. And I don't really want the hand of man in my photograph. So that would be something that I would want to make go away. Other things I look for are bright spots or anomalies that may subconsciously catch somebody's eye. You know, in particularly, like, there's this bright stick right there that I see. There's a gash on the mountainside that I see right there. There's these really bright rocks right there that, I, that could distract from people looking at my main subject. And oh, by the way, of course, being in the desert, I've got some great dust spots up here. So I would like to show you how to use the brush or the, the spot healing tool as well as the remove tool. And the way I have differentiated them with myself is that the spot healing brush tool is great 
when I have a really simple spot that I want to remove, like these dust spots up in the sky, I've got a real simple background. The remove tool I tend to use when the edits are more complicated when I have a lot of texture or pattern or really complicated background, the remove tool does a better job than the spot healing brush tool. So as I said, you can hit J in the keyboard or come over to this icon and hit the spot healing brush tool. And just one quick little housekeeping thing before we get started. If you see this little arrow next to the, uh, next to the band aid, if you click and hold on this arrow, you will see the list of some of the tools that are contained here. But notice I do not see the remove tool. So the way to add the remove tool is to go down to this, these three dots and go to edit toolbar. And here's all the tools on the left here that are in my toolbar. And there's extra tools over here on the right that are not added in. And look down here, the remove tool. I happen to be running Adobe Photoshop 25.1, I think. This came out in 24.5. So if you haven't updated it, you may find the remove tool out here. Or if you're not up on 24.5 yet, uh, you won't have access to this remove tool. But the easiest way to add the remove tool is to grab it and drag it over into this spot healing area, these, uh, these spot cleaner tools that I like to call them. Um, just drag it over there and it's, and it's set and it's in place. And so the next time I press and hold here, you can see my remove tool. So with the spot healing brush tool, what I will do is I'll, I'll come up here, you know, and I'll clean up all the, the dust spots that I see. That's really nice and simple and easy. Just click, click, click all over the place until I get rid of those camera dust spots. There are a couple more right there and one there. Now let's tackle some of these more complex removals that I want to do. So I want to grab the remove tool. And you can change the size of this tool either up here on the menu bar or with the bracket keys. Now there's a couple of options that you can pick based upon what you like. There's remove after each stroke. So what that will do is I'll make, a, I'll make a, an edit or I'll click on something and the system will automatically remove it. Or if this is not checked, you can make multiple edits and then click the check mark right at the end to make all of those edits all at once. I like to see the changes as I go along, so that's why I have this box selected. The other one is sample all layers. So what I generally do when I do cleanup is I like to create a blank layer. If that layer is highlight, highlighted, and I don't have sample all layers selected. There's nothing on this current layer to, to edit. And so the system won't be able to do it. So when I select sample all layers, it will literally choose from all the layers and remove what I want to remove with this tool. So let's go ahead and give this remove tool a try. I'll just do part of this road. So as I do that, it's got to think about it. Ooh, look at that. That's interesting. The, the thing with the spot healing brush, if I was to travel along this road and come up into this tree, it will oftentimes run into the tree and sample part of the tree out into this road area that I'm trying to eliminate. It's really just for spots. For big areas, for long distances, I use the, the remove tool with much better success. So if I just paint over that road, and it is gone. And there's a little bit of horizontal road right there that I don't like, which is gone as well. Much nicer, no hand of man that's pointing into or running through the frame. Now I'm going to go start doing some of the smaller cleanup, like this little stick that was right here, this gash that was up here. You know, if you need to draw a straight line, you can do that by holding down the shift key 
as you drag across and it will uh, create a straight line for you. It works also true doing vertical lines. Hold down the shift key and it'll, and it'll be a straight vertical line. In landscape photography, I don't have a lot of use for the straight functionality, but it's good to know that it's there. You know, so let's go and hit some of these rocks down here. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. The thing I don't like too is bright pieces of grass in the foreground that can drag the viewer's eyes down to the bottom of the frame. So I tend to get rid of some of these things um, as I see them and as I can just to clean up some of the noise, the busyness, so, so viewers can focus on my subject and the story that I'm trying to tell. There's a little yellow bush down here. Let's just say I want to get rid of that. It does a great job. I can do the same thing with a spot healing brush, but oftentimes when I have textured landscapes, it gets really smudgy and blurry, and, and you can see where that edit took place. The other thing to try too is notice up here in the tree and you see there's a little bit of bare landscape behind the tree branches. It's kind of bright, kind of poking through. What happens if I take this remove tool and go through it? It samples the tree, closes that gap. I've got some red branches on here that I want to get rid of because I want this to be a green tree. Look at that, much, much cleaner. Let's jump over to one more example of the remove tool and the spot healing brush. So here we are in the Eastern Sears. I just got back from a workshop there not too long ago. And remember how I said the spot healing brush is great for, for small spots, un uncomplicated stuff. So I've got this great, great S-curve running through the, uh, the yellow uh, aspens and birch trees. But I've got leaves here on the ground. And so I've got a real consistent background. So the spot healing brush is great for me to get rid of some of these leaves that I find just visually distracting in the image. Boom, all clean. Now, see these red snow poles? I want those to go away. I want to remove them. So let's try the remove tool. I've got a complicated background. I want to see how this is going to do. Look at that, no smudge, no muss, no fuss. Let's take a look at this pool. I've got gravel, uh, asphalt, a white line, and more asphalt. Let's see how this reacts to the changing background. Perfect. No squiggle in the line, no nothing. I can't even tell the pole was there. So let's go through and get rid of that pole. This pole. Boy, this just makes it too easy, doesn't it? Let's go clean up that whole pole. I cannot tell. Look at that. Let's make this all go away. So this is the remove tool in Adobe Photoshop 24.5 and higher. Beautiful. You know, in this, this yellow and black uh, warning placard bothers me a little bit visually. The guardrail's not bad, but this placard bothers me. And I don't know what's going to happen, but let's give this a try with the remove tool. Let me paint over the top of that. Wow, look at that. It makes that go away. I don't know what's going to happen over here because it's so complicated. Don't even notice it. Don't even notice that it was there a much, much cleaner image. And this is what I'm talking about with visual noise. We went from this with these red poles that were very dominant in this scene that, that were very distracting all the way down to that in three minutes. Clean, crisp, no visual distractions. The only elements are the ones that I want to be there. So it's just a fantastic tool. So, and, and for you Lightroom users, just to close the gap, at this point, if you saved the image, it'll save a copy back into Lightroom for you to continue editing. 
So that's all you have to do. Simple and easy. All right, folks, there you go. There's a couple of tips and tricks for cleaning up visual noise. Your spot healing brush is great when you have smooth backgrounds or real easy things you want to remove. But the remove tool, the new remove tool in Photoshop 24.5 and later is the key for really complex removal jobs. So feel free to use them, experiment, play around with them. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments or questions in the uh, section below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep on shooting.